क्वेश्चन नंबर 154 x plus 2y minus 3 dy minus 2x minus y plus 1 dx is equal to 0 this is the last question from this section we will take up a new section from next question onwards so solving this question and dy by dx writing dy by dx from the given equation is two x minus y plus one by x plus two y minus three. So first, uh, this is a non-homogeneous equation. We have to convert it into a homogeneous form. So to do that, first we check whether the ratio. Uh, uh, ratio of the coefficients of x in numerator and denominator is equal to or not equal to the ratio of coefficient of uh, the y in numerator and denominator so here it is 2 by 1 2 by 1 for x and minus 1 by 2 for y so it is not equal so we can pro we can do the substitution in such cases we can do the substitution x is equal to x plus h and y equal to y plus k let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2 now differentiating equation 2 with respect uh, differentiating equation 2 we have dx is equal to d capital x and dy equal to d capital y therefore dy by dx is equal to d capital y by d capital x let's call this equation 3 using 2 and 3 in 1 we have uh, d capital y by d capital x is equal to 2 capital x minus capital y plus 2 h minus k plus 1 by x plus 2 capital y plus h plus 2 k minus 3 so what we did is substitute x with x plus h and y with y plus k so substituting and rearranging we will get this form let's call this equation 4 so this is a non-homogeneous equation but if we find h and k such that 2h minus k plus 1 equal to 0 and h plus 2k minus 3 is equal to 0 then this equation 4 reduces to a homogeneous equation so we, we will find uh, h and k it's uh, which satisfies that condition we have 2 h minus k plus 1 equal to 0 and h plus 2 k minus 3 equal to 0 we have two variables and two equations we can easily solve them h by 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 equal to k by 1 minus minus 6 so 1 plus 6 to 1 by 2 into 2 4 minus minus 1 so 4 plus 1 so we have h equal to 1 by 5 and k equal to 7 by 5 let's call this equation 5 so from 2 equation 2 we know that capital x is nothing but x minus h and capital y is nothing but y minus k we have h and k so we can also write capital x is equal to x minus h which is equal to 1 by 5 and capital y equal to y minus 7 by 5 okay let's call this equation 6 we will be using equation 6 later in the solution so now using h and k's value in and uh, 4 we have using 5 in 4 we have uh, d capital y by d capital x so d capital y by d capital x is equal to 2x minus y by x plus 2y okay now let's call this equation 7 this is a homogeneous equation to solve such equations we use the substitution y equal to vx this equation 8 differentiating equation 8 with respect to x we have dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx so let's call this equation 9 
now using eight and nine in equation seven we have uh, v plus x dv by dx is equal to 2x minus vx by x plus 2vx cancelling x from numerator and denominator and bringing v to the right hand side we have x dv by dx is equal to 2 minus v by 1 plus 2v minus v or 2 minus v minus v minus 2v square okay, 1 plus 2v simplifying we have x dv by dx is equal to 2 minus 2v minus 2v square okay, 1 plus 2v okay so now this is a form where we can use method of separation of variables so bringing all the v terms to one side and x terms to the other we have so let's take 1 by 2 outside okay 1 by 2 outside so 1 minus v minus v square dx by x now if we check the differential of denominator is minus 2v minus 1 so if we take we can integrate uh, 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 if we take minus outside so minus 1 minus 2v by 1 minus v minus v square dv equal to integral dx by x plus c so this is this can be integrated easily as differential of denominator is in the numerator so we can write minus 1 by 2 log 1 minus v minus v square equal to log x plus c so multiplying throughout by minus 2 and bringing log x to the uh, LHS we have log 1 minus v minus v square plus 2 log x is equal to c1 say where c1 equal to minus 2 c okay. now applying logarithm properties we have log 1 minus v minus v square into x square equal to c1 e to the power on both sides we have 1 minus v minus v square x square is equal to c2 where c2 equal to e raised to c1 and now from equation 8 we have we know from equation 8 we know v equal to y by x we are going to use that substitution from 8 we have v equal to y by x so 1 minus y by x uh, minus y square y x square into x square is equal to c2 simplifying we have x square minus y x minus y square into y square into x square equal to c2 so x square x square get cancelled now we have x and y from equation 6 from equation 6 we have x is equal to x minus 1 by and y equal to y minus 7 by 5 so x minus 1 by 5 and y minus 7 by 5 so we are going to substitute that values x minus 1 by 5 the whole square minus x minus 1 by 5 into y minus 7 by 5 minus y minus 7 by 5 the whole square is equal to c2 simplifying we have 5x minus 1 the whole square by 25 so we okay. 
Yes. Multiplying throughout by 25, we have and opening up the brackets, we have 25x square minus 10x plus 1 minus 25xy mm, minus 35 x minus here. Uh, minus 5y 5y plus 7 in the sorry minus 25y square uh, 35 uh, minus plus, plus into 5 into 2 75 mm. or minus 49 doesn't matter but still Now we can simplify 25x square minus 25y square minus 25xy mm, and x35 minus 10 so plus 25x and 75 plus 75 y plus c4 uh, we will bring all the constant to the right hand side and add it to c3 and we call it c4 so if we throughout divide by 5 uh, and sorry divide by 25 we have x square dividing minus y square minus x y uh, plus 5 x plus 9 y to a constant ok mm. sorry sorry minus x so we divided by 25 so this is wrong so plus x uh, plus x plus 3y equal to c5 So this is the solution let's uh, this is the solution when we do it in this method I'll just these are the steps to solve question 154 but before ending this section let me just show you one another method to solve this question it is very simple and straightforward I did this method since we are currently dealing with sections where dy by dx is in the form ax plus by plus c by a dash x plus b dash y plus c dash we were discussing questions of this form that's why i used this method we can also solve this much easier in a different way i'll just show you uh, I'll just take a new screen 
this is our question so if we open up and do some rearrangement x dy we have an x dy and plus y dx y dx then we have 2y dy 2y dy then minus 3 dy minus 3 dy and mm, minus 2x dx minus 2x dx uh, then minus dx equal to 0 if you observe this term can uh, every term can be easily integrated this is a uh, so integrating we have x dy plus y dx is x y and integral of this is y square so here it is minus 3 y so here this is minus x square here minus x equal to 0 or if we multiply by a minus sign we have x square minus y square minus xy um, x square minus y square minus xy uh, plus x plus x plus 3y or equal no it's not equal to 0 there is a constant is equal to a constant Okay, when we integrate the there will be a constant that goes to zero when differentiating this constant goes to zero so there is a constant uh, then x plus 3y equal to so if we compare the solution just see how many steps we did to arrive at this solution x square minus y square minus xy plus x plus 3y so x square minus y square minus xy plus x plus 3y equal to c we arrived at this answer in two steps so this was very simple uh, answer when we do it this way but not all question can be uh, handled li uh, like this so yeah maybe only this type of solution works for the given question so we need to know both we have to check whether any simple solution exists before solving the, the question uh, using all this step so yeah just two solutions this is the solution to question number 154 so this section is over and we will take up a new section from next video